Hello everyone, in this video we will swatch some art supply lies from the art hall. So we will swatch this um, watercolor marker of Faber Costell indigo color. We will swatch some pencils from the Albert Durer and the Polychromos uh, range of Faber Castell and we may swatch the Daniel Smith uh, walnut ink so uh, let's uh, start so we will start with uh, the Bohlichomo pencils so uh, let's start with um, cadmium yellow quite bright and opaque as usually a uh, cadmiums are and I really like the Faber Costell one so next is a cadmium yellow dark or dark cadmium yellow let's see it it's a kind of a warm yellow while uh, the cadmium yellow is uh, something like uh, a mid-tone yellow very beautiful so next, we will uh, swatch the dark sepia polychromo. It's a pencil uh, I really like. Uh, I had another one a while ago. And I play with it a lot. I like um, to sketch with it instead of uh, with... Uh, um, don't remember the name of it uh, uh, instead of a uh, graphite yeah, I really like this color next we'll swatch the paints gray polychromo I think it's a paints gray yeah it's a paints gray so let's look at it Wow, I really like this pence gray. I think it's less uh, cold than other pence gray I know. Maybe I'm mistaken, but it's it looks like more a mid-tone uh, gray. And I like it a lot. It's beautiful. I think maybe to scratch also with this one. And last but not least in the polychromos range is the black. I really like their black. It's, um, it's very good. What I like, uh, one of the things that I like about the polychromos is their, that their uh, tip is, is quite uh, tough. So you can uh, paint uh, or draw details with it in comparison to the luminance at least which are very soft or in the course in comparison to the the went uh, drawing and yeah i sometimes uh, like to write it with this per, uh, pencil so these are the polychromos you can look at them like that so cadmium yellow dark cadmium yellow dark sepia paints gray and black and look how they look great together so 
So we'll move them aside and let's continue. I think that now we'll swatch again cadmiums and then uh, continue to other colors. So we'll just rearrange them. Sorry about the mess. Yeah, so I think it's enough. Okay, let's start. So, um, Albert Dürer uh, watercolor pencils are uh, um, water soluble pencils and they're very beautiful. I think they are my favorite from uh, the brand in watercolor pencils and I have in comparison um, some uh, super colors of uh, Carandash and some um, what else I had um, and the Lyra watercolor uh, pencils and these ones I like the most So let's start with the cadmium yellow, the same as this one. You can uh, work with these uh, pencils uh, red and dry. Look, it's a bit more uh, uh, strong or yeah, a bit more uh, vibrant. And it's because the binder, I think, is different. So I will swat it one dry and one wet so we can see it. And we will wet this one. Look how beautiful and pigment this color is. It's really, really amazing. Very beautiful color, really love it. Okay, next we'll swatch the dark cadmium yellow. So we'll start dry. I don't know why I don't use them completely dry. They're very, very bright. And I think that in comparison, I will put a, a small line here to um, the polychromos that are a bit uh, more pigmented, maybe. I don't know why. So let's put water. Want to see if the lines stay. No, they dissolve great. Yeah, I really like it. Look at this beautiful color. Okay, next we look at the permanent carmine. Uh, I was looking at the um, called the uh, uh, red and I wasn't sure which of them uh, to buy and at the end I decided on this one I also have uh, the geranium uh, lake which is the mid-tone uh, red and the red violet if I remember right but um, yeah, I, I think that the red violet is a more fuchsia, um, more fuchsia, fuchsia violet than a cool red. So I dissolve it with water. How beautiful it is! It's so so amazing. And next we look at the 
purple violet. And the smaller one, wet. Feels that uh, this co color is a bit uh, uh, more scratchy. Let's look how it wet. Wow, it's beautiful. I'm very happy about this color. Very beautiful. Yeah, I really love this color. Next, uh, we look at the uh, Indian Throne Blue Polychromos. Let's put it. Yeah. Indian Throne Blue Polychromos. Not polychromy, I'm sorry. Uh, Albert Durer watercolor pencil and yeah it's also a uh, one of the most uh, loved uh, pencils i have and colors in this uh, Faber Castell range so let's activate it so you can see how beautiful this color is. Really love this color. And of course it dissolves completely in water. Really beautiful. Next we look at um, light fatal blue. So it's a kind of a sky blue, but uh, because uh, these pencils are so pigmented, uh, you will need to add a white to it to make it less uh, vibrant. So let's look at it. Wow, look how beautiful it is. And you can see it's too vibrant to be a uh, sky blue. Let's move this page a little bit. Next uh, color we look at is Fatal Blue Albert Dewar pencil or watercolor pencil. So it looks maybe like, um, we'll see in a minute, but yeah, maybe it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's the green shade or um, the red shade, I think it's the green shade, because they have uh, some reddish uh, color, hello reddish or something, hello blue reddish that uh, is uh, redder than this one and they think that's the fatal blue red shade and next is a uh, bluish turquoise very beautiful color
is a very beautiful color. This one actually lo looks more like a, the Fatal Blue green shade than this one. This is maybe the PB15. We like the PB15 color one and maybe this is the green shade. Well, I don't know. So uh, let's look up the colors. All of them. Yeah, they're very, very beautiful. I like them a lot. I think uh, I like really the combination of this uh, permanent crown mind with these uh, polychromos and maybe with the indent font blue. And I like uh, all of these blues uh, with these uh, yellows and maybe this uh, violet with these uh, yellows and darks yeah i like uh, a lot this uh, color palette so uh, next oh forgot one pencil one moment so let's continue and next uh, we'll do another thing so i have here uh, the sepia dark sepia uh, albedur pencil I like this pencil a lot, I use it a lot. It's very beautiful, very dark. I like sometimes uh, to activate just some of the lines in a, a painting and then uh, it makes uh, the painting more interesting. And look how beautiful this color is. Really like this color. And yeah, I use it a lot. So use it in sketching. So I wanted just to compare it to the dark sepia uh, over here. The polychromo one. And we put maybe a small line here to compare. They're quite comparable, I think. I don't know if you know that um, the uh, um, Faber Castell has a color system that uh, they have the same numbers and colors in the whole uh, professional uh, line. And you can see these colors, uh, some of them in all of their lines, almost the same colors. I may uh, do a comparison now. We will uh, swatch this uh, Albert Dewar watercolor marker in dark indigo, uh, number 157. And maybe we will look at the uh, other colors uh, other indigos look how beautiful it is let's activate it with some water how beautiful Uh, these uh, watercolor markers are good just on some papers, not uh, on every paper. We'll now use the bullet tip, so we look at it. I want this 
one to use as a brush yeah and let's look at other products in uh, this uh, indigo so i have some of them available so let's look um, at the Albert Dürer poly, not polychromo, a uh, watercolor pencil. So you can see that it, in the mass tone it's different. And let's see it activated. Look how beautiful it is. So you can see it's a uh, bluer and it's very very beautiful yeah i really love this one then uh, we'll see the polychromo which is uh, in between this one and this one And I have this uh, soft brush pit uh, artist pen in uh, dark indigo. Look how beautiful it is. And I don't know if you know, but uh, you can layer them. And if you act uh, really uh, quickly, you can also create watercolor color from them one thing i wanted to note about them is that uh, it's less good uh, to activate the bullet point because it doesn't uh, melt well enough in water and this one is okay and i wanted to show one more thing so you can layer this one also as you can see there is another thing that is important uh, these when they are dry they are not activated the same but they are activated a little bit as you can see here so it's important to know So these are all these uh, colors that I swatched uh, this far. So let's look at them. So cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow dark, dark sepia, pants gray and black in the polychromo range. And we can see uh, here also the dark indigo. On the albedure range dark cadmium sorry cadmium yellow dark cadmium yellow permanent carmine a violet a purple intense front blue light fatal blue fatal blue bluish turkeys a dark a sepia polychromo sepia Albert Durer watercolor marker, the uh, Albert Durer uh, watercolor pencils, uh, polychromo uh, dark indigo pencil, and the last one is Pit artist pen a uh, soft brush dark indigo. These are all dark indigo. I wanted to see to show the range of them. So we have uh, one more uh, art supply to swatch, which is uh, the Daniel Smith Walnut Ink. So in ancient uh, time, uh, walnut ink or sepia were uh, black inks that were, that were not light fast and uh, that changed the color. And that's what the, was the, the sepia inks. And the walnut ink is the, the light fast version, at least in the Daniel Smith range. So let's look at it. Wow, it's very beautiful. The 
Vanu let's blue beautifully. Want to try it with the flat brush. As you can see, it granulates beautifully. It's not a uh, very dark, as you can see. And let's say a layer on it. It's very beautiful. I really like it. Let's do in my brush a re a wet into wet so I put it here see I just want to see that we see it yeah so yeah it flows really beautifully And let's layer over here. Ah, put too much on my brush. I played a little bit more with the walnut ink with the Albert Dewar uh, watercolor pencils. Also layered with it over them and also tried to create a gray or a black with the Indian Rome Blue over here and over here. And uh, yeah, they are very interesting together. You can see here, they worked together quite well. And there was one more thing I wanted to do is uh, to try to layer some polychromos over, over it. So the black is beautiful here. Also the paint's gray. Let's try it here. And I wanted to try the yellows to see how they work. Yeah, they work together with it. And the dark yellow, yeah, it's beautiful over it. And I wanted to try to layer them, the Faber Costell ones, and see because I heard that this ink is uh, not waterproof. And yeah, it activates as you can see, they mix together. Let's put it in another place and see. Yeah, for sure it activates in water. What I uh, like about it that it makes uh, the other colors um, granulate because uh, they mix with it and this is a granulating color. You can see it over here for sure. And look at these mixes. It's really interesting I think I will work with it a lot and look at this beautiful gray sepia gray color that they created with Indian for blue so thank you for watching have a wonderful time and happy painting bye